70 miles southeast of Atlanta, Edenton is the seat of Putnam County, best known as the dairy capital of Georgia. Oh, they got 400 and something acres. Goes up to that corner, young. William Larman is a dairyman, and he's talking about his new neighbors. Oh, yeah, I'm happy for them. But they are not dairymen. Because they said they come from what? Rich. Planet Rich, I think. <laughs> It is not a joke to the people who've built these two large pyramids and elaborate Egyptian-style ornamentation and put up rows of double-wide homes on some 400 acres of rural Putnam County farmland and woodland. How many people live here? You've got different families living. It's a place that granted our request for a visit inside the secured gate, allowed us to watch the workers build new ceremonial structures, allowed us to listen close up to the continuous chant broadcast from a speaker bank at the top of one of the pyramids. For our people that want to get spiritually in tune with the, with the, you know, in the cell. But for the most part, sidestepped our requests for answers. But what about the guy from another planet? Or? We'll make sure you get all yeah, the news people that about that. Daddy. Are they a cult? Depends on definition of a cult. Certainly there are, are, are many characteristics similar with other uh, entities that are uh, defined as cults. How long you lived here? About six, seven months. Jerry, our tour guide, says he came here from Alabama. The sheriff says most of the other residents come from the Northeast, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore. How many, including how many children, is unclear. He's Yanun. He's known by many names. The group's leader is identified in literature as Malachi Zodok York, the Supreme Grand Master. He is described as a charismatic speaker and apparently a prolific writer, producing monthly newsletters and dozens of books. He says that he is from the eighth planet in the 19th gal galaxy of Iliwun, a universe far outside of this one. Does it make sense to you? That's in the book. If he wrote it, then, yeah. We're from Orion. Dr. York is from Risk. He's from, he's from Orion. What's the deal? It's not, it's nothing strange. It's just new to the public. The vast majority of cults are started by an individual who's extremely charismatic, who's very confident, uh, very uh, commanding, in some cases very demanding, expects an awful lot of the followers. So this is the compound nightclub? <laughs> no, it's not a compound. Oh, it's not a compound? I'm no. sorry. <laughs> not at all. The centerpiece of the Putnam County property is a nightclub the group opened in October. At midday, it was in high decibel preparation for an upcoming party. Outside, there were parked three stretch limousines. Oh, it's an Egyptian theme park. This is a theme park? An Egyptian theme park. Now, there's some people who think this is a cult. Well, there's two ways to look at it. We don't happen to have a religious belief. You follow what I'm saying? Now, on the other hand, culture, cult, culture, that's a connect, there's a connection there. So if you say we're a cult in the sense of we found a culture that works for us, yeah. Are they dangerous? I have no information uh, to indicate that they are dangerous. What they are is a roadside curiosity to native Putnam Countyans and to the folks inside the gate, a community with children and entertainment and an Egyptian theme and a leader they call Grandmaster who writes that he's from another planet. Maybe the spaceship come in here and I could get away with him. <laughs> with him <on. laughs> you see all that we're building out there? Yeah. Does it look like we're going anywhere soon to you? We build it. It's so beautiful out there. It's a beautiful, peaceful environment where we, in, we invite any nationality, any race to come out and visit. 